Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to talk dynamic DNS. So if you're wanting to host services at your house, oftentimes you're going to need to use a DNS provider. And what does that mean? So typically you're not paying for a static IP address at your house. So your IP address can change. And one of the ways to fix that problem in order to host a service such as Nextcloud or to access other things from your free NAS, true NAS, or any other service you might be hosting at home, we can use a dynamic DNS provider. Now, that, that being said, there are a bunch out there. So let's take a look and see what we have. All right, here is my free NAS. But first, let's just go and talk about dynamic DNSs. If you go down here to services in your true NAS, you will see dynamic DNS. It's built into TrueNAS, which is a wonderful thing. So you can go ahead and set them up. So let's just go ahead and look at configure and take a look at the different providers. All the way up the top, you see there's a big list. And there it is. So one of the ones I wanted to point out to you that is very popular, no IP is very popular, and something that maybe a lot of people use is domains.google.com. So if you're hosting your domain on Google, you, or if you're do you, go, Google is your DNS provider, then you have that option already. And that is the best choice for you if that is your situation. In my particular case, I'm going to take a look at free DNS. So if you scroll through this list, you'll see free DNS.afraid.org. You can choose it, go down here and then Put your domain and put your username password in here and hit save now let's go back over to free dns and take a look at that free dns you can just click sign up for free and fill this information out and then you will have to activate your account and then go in and click on subdomains so i'm going to log in real quick and you will see here the domain that I already have set up here. And basically, if you just go and click add, you can make an A record of whatever you like. Uh, you have options to pick for domains and all this good stuff. But I've already got one in here and it's already set for my IP address. But basically, once you get that, you wanna copy this domain over to here set in your username and password so we're going to just go ahead and copy those in there paste paste and then hit save once that's saved go ahead and turn on the service and check the box it says turn on automatically and you're done all right so from that point in time you can use that subdomain to access your computer so if I go and I just if I go and I just copy that domain we're gonna do it you will see that it's going to pop up something for me okay so it is that simple that all you need to do to set up a dynamic DNS for your free NAS box and most any service you want. You will need to go into your router and for, port forward whatever whatever serv services you have. So if you're running Nextcloud or something like that, you'll want to point, point that domain and do a port forward on your router to set up that. And that's all there is to it. I'm Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com and this has been TrueNAS Dynamic DNS.